In this video I just want to show you how simple it is to use some of the shapes and tools in Adobe Fireworks to create yourself a logo. The logo I'm going to be creating today is this logo. Um, it's for a burger company. I've decided to call my burger company Bait Ups Burgers and this is what my logo is going to look like. Nice and simple and it's not too hard to create either. So I'm going to begin today by making a new document that is 400 by 400 pixels, 72 pixels per inch resolution and a white canvas. Click OK once you've got that. Now the first thing I want to draw in my burger is the buns. So I'm going to go to my shapes tool here and choose the ellipse. And I'm going to remove the border. I don't want a border on this. And I'm just going to draw in a circle, any color for now. So I'm just going to hold down shift because I want this perfect circle and I'll just get that in the center of my page use my guides to match it up now the color for my burger is actually one of the styles over here that fireworks has already made up for us um, now which style was it I think it was one of the fill designs there we go so in fill design pattern styles it's not exactly a burger, but it looks a bit like there's little seeds on the bun of a burger. So I'm going to go with that design. Now to split this burger in half, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool and choose white as the fill color. And I'm just going to draw a line straight through the middle of it, like so. You might want to nudge that around a little bit just so you can get it in the center. I think that's pretty close to the center. Once you're happy with it, you can probably kick on to the next step. Now I just want to put a filling inside my burger. And to do that I'm going to use the line tool. So just above my shapes I've got the line tool. I'm going to go just outside the edges of the burger. Hold shift to draw a straight line. And I'm going to drop that line into place. Now at the moment my line is basically invisible. It's size 1 and it's white. What do I want? I want this to represent the cheese first of all. So I'm going to choose a yellowish color and bump it up to about size 7 or 8 and see how that looks yeah, it's not too bad okay I might even add a bit of a texture to it by changing my pixel uh, my pixel hard brush to oh, we might try a bamboo brush it just gives it a little bit of a jagged edge now to make sure my next few lines or my next fillings are just like this first one, I'm going to copy and paste it. Okay, so I'm going to go up to edit and copy, edit, paste. And that pastes right on top of the other one. So I'm just going to use my arrow keys to nudge it down. And there's my second piece of filling. I might make this the tomato, so I'm going to make this red. And finally I'll copy and paste that one more time just using Control C and Control V. Remember it pastes directly on top of the other shape that you copied. Using my arrows I'll nudge it down and I'm going to make this one the lettuce so I'll make it green. Okay. You may need to highlight those just by holding shift and selecting them. Just nudge them around a little bit with your arrows to get them perfectly in the center. But when you're done you've got a pretty simple logo that looks pretty effective. If you want, you could add some texture in the outside saying um, Bait Ups Burgers, but for now I'm going to leave it just as a picture logo and keep it simple just like that.